Before getting into today's episode, we'd like to thank Mac Performance PT for sponsoring the Walk On Pod. For more on their services and contact information, click the link in our Instagram bio where you will be led to their website. Mac Performance PT, helping Sacramento athletes live life without limits. Thank you for tuning back into the Walk On Pod. Uh, back with another week with a special guest, uh, you know, uh, UCLA Bruin, most recently Pac-12 Freshman of the Year, uh, and, and uh, of another staple in the KI Fam catalog for sure. Yeah. We got Adem Bono with us today. Adem, what's going on, man? Not much, man. Doing good. Doing good. Adem, no cheese, Bona. No <laughs> cheese. We're going Guy right, doesn't right through the KI family. Yeah, right through the KI. Family. Yeah. No, we had to. We had to. But uh Dan, appreciate you being on uh with us today. But uh like we said, we're gonna give you the floor right now, kinda let you uh take it and then we'll go from there. So uh you can start wherever you want, but the floor is yours. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for um uh, for having me on this. Um I've been I've been wanting to build this for a long time, but I guess my time finally came, you know. <laughs> they finally gave me the show. So um um I I would just like give like a rundown about me. Like um, I started, I started, I played basketball back in Turkey in Europe, and I was there for like a couple of years for up to two or three years, no, like almost four years. Then I came down to I was back in North Cal, played for um, uh, Pulitzer Prep, Look, had like some great teammates, great coaches, and all this stuff. And um, I played there my my last two years of high school, my junior, my senior year, and now I'm a Bruin. Um. We just won. We won the Pac-12 um, regular season, and we lost in the final to Arizona um, um, in the Pac-12 um, championship um, last night. That was a so, that was a bad loss, but it was, it was what it is, you know. Yeah, tourney time. You, yeah, and yeah, you guys just got uh, just got announced. You guys got two seed in the West region, so we'll uh, be seeing you in Golden One. At least there'll be a, a team that actually plays defense. Uh, playing in on the golden one floor not, uh, <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> it was really wow crazy. luke i i, I i'm early, coming out hot i'm coming no, out I really hot wasn't, i wasn't early really sure right, right away Bro, it's, it's cra- i wasn't expecting that this episode i thought i was gonna have to take a break for the week like you know i wasn't <laughs> i kings won this your week energy too. your energy last week i was listening to the pod today from last <laughs> week and your energy from last week just like flooded in to the day <laughs> It, it, this guy was getting his feelings it, last week, Adam, about the Kings not feelings, getting the respect. Bro. I was Get presenting Tommy, nothing but facts. What did I say? And like, I, I, I feel really bad for Adam because you're over here just like taking his spotlight and all this. And I, I didn't nah, say I just, anything. You were just throwing strays, but it's cool. Like, <laughs> it's cool. Uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. No, nah, Adam, we kind of want to, you know, you've had an interesting journey uh, through basketball and you didn't always play basketball. So, like, Kind of tell us how that how that whole thing transpired. Oh yeah, um, I I grew up playing soccer. Like soccer was like my first sport, you know. Um, that's that kind of like builds up to like my skill right now, like my fast food, like how I move, you know. Um, I grew up playing soccer. I played soccer to the age of thirteen. Then I picked up basketball because I kind of I grew. Everyone plays soccer. I look like a giant running on the field, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I look like an alien playing soccer. Like if I like, I just look different now. So like my height kind of took over, and I was like, like I, I go I have to pick basketball up. I picked basketball up. I kind of started slow, but like maybe I played basketball for a year back in Nigeria. Then I moved to Tokyo with my mom. I started. I kept on playing basketball over there and. And that's how we everything went. It started from playing soccer. I got my most of my skill came from like playing soccer, like the fast field and everything, you know. So yeah, soccer. That so what posi- that. what position what position did you play the most in soccer? Now I was I was cold first. I'm just gonna let you know I'm cold. I know you about to talk here about me, but I was cold playing soccer. I was I was the center midfield. I I, I play like the center midfield, like I controlled the game. I was in between everyone, you feel me? I was cold. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know right now. I'm I almost made it to the Nigerian national team. Just saying. I'm already oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't already know. I didn't know that. That's. I'm sick. already knowing you don't stop running. So he's just dominating <laughs> the midfield for sure. Hey, the corner kick specialist. Hey, I'm dead. You just find me. I, I was just yeah. about to say. Yeah, imagine, look, imagine having to mark a dam on a corner kick. They're like, yeah, yeah, you got him coming down the middle. That's what I was head on this one. A set <laughs> piece with like, a dam. A set piece with a dam in the middle. It's over. Yeah. Oh, so I'm like, guys on me on that one. 
Yo, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's awesome. Center mid. I love that. Just I could real. see him as a center back too. Like uh just killing it in the center back, nothing getting past him. Yeah, hey, but you wind back 2.0. Look like <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Van Dyke, yeah. <laughs> the beast. Do you still watch do you still watch a lot of uh European soccer? Then? Yeah, I, I still do. Like um I actually woke up this one to watch one. I think Arsenal played Fulham at 6 a.m. today. I, I tried to catch the game. I couldn't. I woke up at 7, like, towards the end of the game. But So, mm. I, I still watch. I follow soccer a lot. Like, to be honest, I'm kind of still huge in soccer. You feel me? So, I, yeah, I like that's, soccer a lot. That's dope. So, who's your squad then? My you... squad? I'm, I'm, I, I rock with Arsenal. Uh, okay. Are they like, going to win the league? Are they going to win the Premier League? Oh, definitely winning the league. We're on top by five. We got like we yeah. got five points on City. I was, say they're, I was gonna say they're pulling away, but City's right there. Yeah, City is right there. City they also nice. Well, we, we got it, we got it this year. <laughs> uh, that's dope, man. Uh <clears throat> as far as when you picked up basketball, uh, obviously you said your height, but what else like kind of made you gravitate towards it? Because obviously, you know, we all as kids growing up, especially like I know it's a lot different uh, in Europe and you could speak about that if you want, but like in America, like you try every sport and then your parents put you in everything when you're little, because just, they just, you just, they want you to be active and the seasons are different. It's like, so when you did start playing basketball at 13, like what really kind of made you gravitate towards it to where you're like, Hey, this is something I want to keep pursuing. Yeah. So like, I st- so I started playing basketball that I didn't know much about it. That I started like watching like films of like guys that play basketball. And you know me, I first, first thing I looked up, I looked up Nigerians that play basketball. These guys that popped up is Akeem, you know. Yeah. The dream. So like I was watching this dude and he was making guys move. I'm like, damn, this is making guys jump around like like little kids. So <laughs> like I started, I started like watching Akeem. I started going to the park playing for fun. And like just like the fun of like running with the ball, jumping up, like everything was just like everything just clicked for me. That's what I like to do, running around, jump, like so like everything just clicked for me. And the other thing was like like the mind game, like basketball is not just like running around and jumping. You also gotta play with your head too. So I kind of I kind of like enjoy the mind game, and it's it's kind of fun, you know, like jumping, outsmarting the other team, and in, and you know I played in Europe for a little bit. The, the main goal in Europe, we don't just like run around like European basketball is less physical. It's like more like mind, like trying to out, outsmart the other team. So it's kind of fun. Like I kind of like enjoyed all those kind of stuff. So, you know, that kind of like kept me in basketball. Yeah. That makes sense. Did you, uh w- once you started playing basketball, did you drop soccer altogether or were you, were you playing a little of both at, at some point? Yeah. I- I kind of so I kind of dropped soccer right away because uh, my height I I got way too tall like I look different now. <laughs> Wait, so how tall were you at the time you started playing basketball? Like six 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 something like that. But like <laughs> soccer players, they're like five nine. Like they look yeah. like going around. That's crazy. Like, I look different now. <laughs> so stop. You're not finding many <laughs> soccer players over six foot. <laughs> Any soccer player over six foot is like an alien out there. That just like giants. Yeah, yeah Ibrahimovic has <laughs> looks wild out there. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's, that's why wild. Van Dyke looks so crazy because Van Dyke's like six four and yeah, he, he's like not supposed four. to be. You're not supposed to be that big playing soccer. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. In yeah, soccer, that's, yeah, that's wild. Like six four. So what? So so let's fast forward. You you know you're in you're you're in America. Uh, you're playing a prolific. It's uh, it's obviously like, pro- I would say prolific is much more the the environment is much more similar to how Europe is as far as like basketball is the focus and and school is is definitely part of it but it's more European in that sense. What was the first thing when you got here that you realized was way different? Just in basketball wise, uh, we could talk about cultural stuff later, but like just pure basketball since we're talking about that, like what was the biggest difference and the biggest adjustment for you? coming over yeah it's it's so you like i said like in europe like we try to like outsmart the other team try to like come up with tricks like to get like a set play but and i, and I came in like time out waiting for the coach to draw a set play the coach just telling us run 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 past the other team i'm like like are we not gonna run anything <laughs> <laughs> because like, i'm like he was like just go play faster i'm like oh 
so that that's when I realized like we just you just gotta play you gotta like play physical play faster and, like just outrun the other team and Europe they play slow and you, you know what, what I learned when I came to high school is like just play fast that's all, just run past the other team play fast get a bucket so <laughs> that, the American that, way the American way so the first the first couple things I learned was like play fast like um play physical and in Europe it's it's in Europe it's physical but America's like like contact and all that stuff but in Europe like they play like grown men they play slow like try to ask my other team but like when I got here it was like all fast and like all go 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 you know yeah that makes sense so now now what about this past year in college where you know you're gonna play against teams where it's go 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 and then you're also gonna play against some teams that it's we're slowing the ball down we're running half court offense so how how was that adjustment was so that's so that's like that's kind of the the in between because uh, every team you play in college they have like different dynamics different type of players and like different um different um coaching mentality there's some teams you play they just like slow the clock down and like just try to like beat you on half court defense and there's some teams that just want to run and like outrun you you feel me so um it's like every like every game we play we have like a different adjustment to that and i have to like it's like it's like a mental game we watch the film we know what kind of adjustment we need to make be- before the game and like so it's it's like it's like the scouting report we lock in the scouting report and like know what kind of team we're playing because the, everyone comes with different mentality every game you know definitely definitely yeah you guys definitely like i do have to say you guys are one of the more prepared teams as far as like detailed scout and 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 trying to jam stuff up and then the other thing that you guys do really well is like you, like you guys like coach Cronin definitely makes like good adjustments at halftime and stuff like that where like you guys always even when you guys play kind of flat in the first half like second half you guys come out and like just tighten the defense up make a couple adjustments and like go on a run yeah that's that's one thing i would say about us like i I feel like we're like a second half team like yeah every time we go (laughs) in the locker room we come down like a different team (laughs) we come down like we just got vibranium in you so yeah a couple a couple few choice words and uh (laughs) some heart-shaped herb that's all you need (laughs) that's a good way to put it yeah um and also the other thing too, uh, Adam, since we're kind of on that part, you know, when you're, how has it been playing with like guys that are much older than you? I know playing in Europe, it's again, it's different, but like with the COVID year and anything, like like for Luke, like Luke's in his sixth year in college, Tommy's in his third year in college as a freshman, and it's like, and you're playing with like Jaime and Tiger and and guys that have been there for Dave, who've been there for five years, you know. Like, how do you, how, how does that feel as far as playing with guys that much older with that experience? Um, I think that's like, I think I, I, I tell people, I think that's the, like one of the best situations I can ever be in in college, you know, play with guys with that much of experience and that much of like mentality. Like these guys, they've been in the final four, five guy, like these guys, they want to win, you know, um, Jaime is like, I mean, it's like an unstoppable, it's unstoppable. Like that dude wants to win in any way possible. Like that dude is like, I see him in practice. I want to do some crazy shit because I see Jaime going crazy in practice, you know? Like those guys motivate you to like go to the next level. It's like the leadership we get in the locker room, like Tiger, Tiger and Dave. Dave, Dave has been here for the longest and Dave like, he has, he has seen every part of UCLA. He see UCLA in the bad times even. And in the in the great times, we we'll make it to the final four. And yes, they didn't make it to the tournament at all. Dave has been here, so like Dave, like the, the the much experience Dave has. Like even though like Dave, Dave is like our like a system on the team. He averages like almost twelve points a game. Like that dude has like a lot of experience. And I pick his, I pick his brain every day. Like he's I would say he's the best hype man in the country. You gotta see Dave in the warm ups and in the huddle. That dude, he got some crazy energy. So that's some that's some like stuff that like. Like these are teams you see you you can I, I don't think you can see this in a young team, but like playing with guys with this experience, like they they help the team go a long way, you know. And and I think those guys deserve more credits than they deserve right now. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think that's huge too, because you guys are one of the I, I feel like you guys are one of the few teams that like play like freshmen, like freshmen play a lot of minutes. But then you have seen like older guys that play a lot of minutes. Like it's like a big mix. Or, 
yeah, we're like, you know, like Luke's team, like it, it's pretty much like, like there's not really, he's the only senior. So it was like a lot of the young guys playing a lot of guys uh, that haven't had that much experience. So it, there's definitely a different learning curve there. And, and, and I think a lot of other teams, even in your league, you can see like teams in the pac 12, like, like you and Arizona have probably the best mix of younger and older guys that play a lot. Yeah. So, and I, obviously you guys have had a lot of success. What, uh, what do you, what do you miss about being in, in Turkey? The um, most? To be honest, if, I, I, would, yeah. I would say it's the food. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, to be honest, you got, I, I, I still believe, um, in Turkey, they have like one of the best, um, food, like Turkey, like they got really good food. They got like really good, really good meats. Um, one, I would say the food. Um, two, I would say my friends, actually my family's over back there. I would say my family first then the food. My mom is back there. Yeah. Um, be careful. Yeah. Don't say, don't say the food first. Mama, mama bonus. Yeah, mama, yeah. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, hey, I, I, I was putting family aside, but okay, we're going to pull, we're going to pull mama first. I, I, I definitely <laughs> <my> mom back. <laughs> my mom, um, then I would say the food, um, my friends, um, um, the culture out there, it's kind of, it's kind of different, you know, um, the, the, like, the, like there's a bunch of people, like, they were like super friendly back there. People think like in Turkey, they might be like some crazy, but it's kind of really nice back there. You know, I mean, I miss, I miss the friends and everything. It's, it's fun, you know, so yeah. I would yeah. say my mom and food back there. Yeah. Tell, and you told me the first time that we talked about it, like, like you can say it out here. Cause you, you were gassing it. It's like, you said the place that you live in Turkey is like, what? No, hey, the place yeah. I lived in was actually nice though. I lived, I lived in Istanbul, then I lived in Izmir for a little bit. I was you say you say Izmir is like the Miami of Turkey. <laughs> actually, it is just like yeah. right on the. Mediterranean. I seen pic and then I saw pictures. I looked it up, and you were right. It looks like it looks so dope. Actually, it's super really nice. Right. Yeah. Like, so Izmir is like right on the Mediterranean Sea. It's like one of the most beautiful city in, in Turkey, and it's like beautiful. It's like the Miami of United States. Yeah. So it's, it's nice, but Miami, I like that. Yeah, that's like it. it. Yeah, that tra was, transition to LA then probably didn't seem too crazy then, no? Nah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys in Napa, wine country, then yeah, go, like, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the Miami of Turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, bro, he got some good destinations hey. on that. Yeah, <laughs> he made sure he made sure he's like, hey, where am I going? Oh, Nebraska? No, thank you. <laughs> that was that was that was his, that was a sad plan, bro. You know, you know, I all this was planned, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm not mad at the hustle man i'm just jealous of the hustle <laughs> um got it like him dared no nah, i don't have it like him nope 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 uh so uh and you know i i think to me it's it's like a really cool part of your story and obviously i know you really well um but you know we a lot of the stuff we talk about on this pod is about like chasing your dreams and like being like under you know valued or under like I guess not not getting the rep you deserve and the walk-on mentality and like I know you have a super close relationship with the walk-ons in your team um, but like for people that don't know and I know you're not gonna say it out loud so I kind of like like you literally came like you're the only person in your family that lives in the states and like how long has it been since you've seen your brothers and seen your mom like how many years yeah, I haven't seen my brothers for six years. I haven't seen none of my siblings for six years. And um, and I saw my mom last summer. That No, I saw my mom two summers ago. When you went and played in Turkey, when you went for Turkey for basketball. Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't seen my brother, my siblings for six years, and I haven't seen my mom for the past two years. So Yeah. It's Which is of, like, go ahead. I was going to say, it's kind of like tough, you know, but I'm like seeing my mom like in two years, I'm still grateful for like the little chance to see my mom, but like not seeing my siblings for six years is kind of tough, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's just like a, a huge like nod to you of like you know making the sacrifice for like you know, and also on your on their side supporting you because like I know your brothers are super involved and your mom and you talk to them a lot still, and and it's like I just I just want to commend you because that's you know that's a huge sacrifice and. Yeah. It's like not a lot of people will be willing to make that sacrifice and and be as laser focused as you are. Yeah, I appreciate so, you. Yeah, appreciate so that's big shout out. How many how many siblings do you have, Adam? 
um we we are actually like five siblings i'm the youngest of five you're the youngest yeah wow here we go here we go what would you say the biggest adjustment coming from turkey to the states was for you just in anything like not necessarily just basketball just like when you first got to the states what was what was the one thing you were like wow like this is a lot different like how um, we like the, my my biggest adjustments i think i think once like um uh, my mom that was the first time i'm like moving away from my mom because when i moved from nigeria to turkey i moved with my mom so I, i've been with my mom my whole life and um it's it's it was also like a tough decision for me like moving to a place where i have no family no friends just like i'm just moving because i want i just want want to like reach my dream and like do something great you know it's just like the like the dream country playing United States is like wanting like you can turn down, but at the same time I'm gonna have to move away from my family. So um, I think moving from my mom is like one thing I need to like I I needed to like adjust to like living a, living without my mom or any of my family member around me. So and and my family is like a big part of my life. Just like support yeah. me everything I do. So that was kind of tough for me to adjust to you know. Oh yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I was like seems like it forced you to grow up a lot faster than yeah. you probably anticipated. Yeah, I, I would say I've, I've learned a lot, you know, like living by myself. Um, I, I, I moved to Napa. I was, I was with some, I was, I was, I was with my host family back in Napa. Um, but before then, like, I have to, I have to learn how to be by myself, you know, even though um, I, I had like so many people that, that supported me a lot and they were like, they have to help me. But at the same time, the mentality that, you know, with your family, it's kind of tough, but, I, I I had to learn how to grow and I grew up like I grew up quick and have to like adjust to that, you know. Totally. Probably made life in the dorms a lot easier then, huh? Hey. The the the, the good thing about me staying in Napa though, I I did I, I I didn't I didn't stay in the dorms. So I had to stay with a host family back in Napa. So I kind of escaped the life of the dorms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's whew. Yeah, I did. Hey, damn, I did. Hey, don't let him, don't let him fool you. He was living good. <laughs> he was living good. Don't let him fool laughing you. Laughing over there, he knows. Because he, yeah, he knows he was. Yeah, I know. He was, I, I know. Jay was about to say something crazy. That's all. That was gonna say. You know Jay well enough. This time he's yeah, yeah, to yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm not gonna say anything. No. Yeah, it's, <laughs> all I know is a damn probably first day from practice came home. Came back to 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 the house and like, like all those clothes were folded and laid out. He's like, "Oh, I can get used to this." Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> had to had to had the crust cut off his sandwiches. Oh wow! He said the crust cut off my sandwich. Now you pushing the chill. Yeah, that's crazy. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. He said you're pushing it, Jay. So you so you are an uncrustable kid, is what you're saying, Jared? Is what. So you're you know what? Like, I doesn't <laughs> exist when I was a kid. That's how old I am. And I'll tell you a funny story. <laughs> Yo, a damn, you've had incredibles, right? Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, so there's this thing. It's like, it's like a. Ter- I don't know. Maybe it's not a terrible thing. I haven't. I can't say it's terrible because I haven't read the nutritional facts. But it seems like a terrible thing that yeah. is put together. It's essentially like a little. It looks like an empanada. Is what it looks like. And it's peanut butter and jelly, like a PB and J, but it's in a fro like frozen individual contain like packages. Oh where yeah, you throw them in the microwave and yeah. you heat them up. Yeah. Absolutely. So here's so this is how crazy this is. Bro, I've never heard someone detail an uncrustable like that. That was because this. <laughs> hey, because look, that was my first time. Listen, so <laughs> didn't think I'd get is, that tonight, but here we are. This is when when <laughs> Keith was in Phoenix. And he was living at the house. Like he, he was in Phoenix when he first got drafted. It was like his first, second year. I go to the house and I'm there, whatever. I look in the freezer because I'm hungry. It's late, whatever. I see these things. And I'm like, uncrustable. I've never seen one of these before. I open one up. I start eating it. I'm like, God, these are kind of hard to eat. <laughs> right. I'm like, ah, but I'm like, all right, well, maybe that's what they're supposed to be like. I don't know. Right. And so I eat it one or two. And then I'm like, the couple days go by and then I like pulling out again and I'm starting eating it. And, and Keith looks at me, he's like, bro, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you put that in the microwave? He's like, I was like, wait, you're not supposed to eat these frozen. 
He's like, no, bro, you heat them up. They taste like normal sandwiches. <laughs> so for like three days, I was eating frozen on, crustable. <laughs> no, I feel like that's pretty like self-explainable. Like if you get something out the freezer, bro, how often do you eating. actually eat it frozen? Yeah, like, bro, ice just cream. eating a frozen uncrustable like it was because, like a. But think ice about cream. it though. But, okay, but think popsicle. about it. Though. You, you, you yeah, don't he eat, thought it was an otter pop. You don't eat hot. Hot PB and J sandwiches. Okay, Jerry, that's valid. Say, but you don't eat say, frozen PB and J sandwiches. Hey, that's true. Food. Yeah, <laughs> but like when I used to make PB and okay, but when I used to make PB and J sandwiches, I'd put them in a, in like aluminum foil and put them in the fridge for the next day and take them to school so they'd be cold, you know, but not frozen. So yeah. I, I understand the fridge, that. not the freezer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but like, yes. So I know what Uncrustables were until I went to Keith's house and ate I'm them glad, frozen. I was gonna say, I'm glad you had this learning experience when you were like. Very 26 adult hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Bro, bro frozen on crust on is crazy. <laughs> crazy. Also, I'll never bro, forget bro, that. Um, huh? I said that was wild, man. Yeah, that's that's really I'm also not surprised hey. though. So yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's yeah, it's Jared at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, at the first the first place that Dem took me to eat in Napa. We went, what's that place called, Adam? The fry place. The, the French fry place. The French fry place? Is it um, Oxbow? No. Uh, the one. Um, yeah. See? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. He, yeah. He didn't even think. He just, it just happened to be. No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We went there a couple times. It had Good the, you get the French, that has the, the, uh, the steak in it. It's like steak fries. Steak fries? Oh man, I'm gonna have to look it up. You talking this- about that. So you sure you talking about me? I took you there. <laughs> yes, bro. No, no, now you hey, now you got me looking crazy. So now I'm gonna hey, people out in Napa, Jared. Yeah, this is great. How much clientele you got out in Napa? Uh, What's going on? Only hey, hey, only only a dam and, and and a couple other really cool kids. <laughs> speaking of speaking of Jared, Jared training. Luke, do you want to ask your favorite KI? Oh, yeah, I, mean, I'm, yeah. I, I was. I, I see. I'm really glad. So, so Dan, man. Every single time we have a KI fan member on here, I like to ask them, "What is their I'm favorite?" I'm signing Jared's... off for this question. Okay, whoa, 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 don't interrupt me. Um, so <laughs> you, may, I know you and Jared have a, a really close relationship at this point. So I want to know what is either one of or some of your favorite Jared stories. And Adam, this this doesn't have to be this doesn't have to be anything bad, but I will say the common the common pattern when we it's get Jared story is Jared being crazy. So if you want to continue that trend, that's that's more than okay. All right, so it's nothing crazy. This was like very recent, right? Um, I got I got one of one of Jared's hoodie, right? He gave me one of his one of his new hoodie, right? Uh, I, I told him I'm, I'm like I'm like yo I'm I'm gonna wear this to the game. <laughs> maybe get some get some flakes, you know. Maybe they like they're gonna get me some flakes with the hoodie, right? I'm like all right, cool. Jero was like all right, cool. I'm like all right, say less. Game day. Jero pulled up to my game. I, I walked out. Walked. I walked out of the locker room with the hoodie. I look at Jero. He got the same hoodie on. Both of us got the same hoodie. We look like twin. I'm like Jay. I just told you I'm gonna wear the hoodie. Why you wearing so? <laughs> Like we both look like three now, yeah. Like, bro, what? Come on, man. Come on, Jared. Come on, man. Like, how you gonna you do didn't even like- let a damn have his moment, bro. You didn't even let him have his moment. Let me have my moments. Bro, put up with the same hoodie like me. Hey, man. I just want to be part of the cool kid group. That's it. Yeah. I'm weak, bro. That's not nah, that's nah, a good that- one. The this funny literally happened two weeks ago, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, is that when I when I saw you, I was like, I was like, oh man, this dude did tell me he was gonna wear the same hoodie. <laughs> Jared, up, Jared just uh, has the hoodie. Come on, Jared, Jared has the KI hoodie in like three days rotation during the week, so like it's just <laughs> no. Actually, I don't because, bro, I can't because. I don't even want to tell you that what's on this hoodie. Probably it's like I, like between holding two kids all the time, like no, I can't do it. So I only wear it when I know the likelihood of me holding uh, Gianna or low. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's a valid point. I'll let you run because yeah, because I, I I made a dump. So I had like a new one of the newest one of my essential crew necks I wore, and we were going somewhere. I don't know why I wore it. I don't remember. I was probably going to a basketball game. But I was like, oh, yeah, I'm aware that we just got this. I'm aware. Oh, it's nice and comfy. Bro, of course, I'm holding Gianna and just like 
drools just like straight chunks <laughs> on my arm and so i'm like oh man i gotta wash it and when i washed it i put i put it in on the wrong the wrong setting and like it's kind of like starchy now so i'm sad about yeah. that it's just uh it's just high fashion bro you were just you know you that's think. actually the opposite of high fashion it's a trick <laughs> my bad i was trying to give you credit i was <laughs> i don't need that kind of credit the ki clothing line is 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 high level stuff yeah need, i need, need to get some more dry fits yeah the shorts the shorts are coming we need some shorts, yeah. The hoodie, the hoodie's been in the rotation. The hoodie, yeah. The Tommy hoodie was hoodie. Tommy was getting active last night at them in the hoodie. In Tommy, the hoodie? Was, Tommy was outside. In the hoodie. <laughs> hey, he I was really. Was out, I was outside. I was outside in the hoodie. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm, it's it's I'm hey, on. Jared, this shameless advertising, man. Like, oh yeah, yeah this I'm guy's not a soldier. About it this guy's a soldier. He is. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> she's like, oh, it's like a good conversation piece. That's like his icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you see the ki right there it's like the girl oh, walks up behind him taps on the shoulder what? oh my god what does that say on the back of your hoodie does that say honor does that mean you're an honorable man the honor passion Tom. discipline is so slim on the side of the hoodie though like you really have to be looking if you're gonna that's see that. the that's idea man that's yeah, yeah. 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 like noticed, if she noticed comfortable if, hey that is a comfortable ass hoodie though like i'm uh, not gonna lie like, i told I you i didn't wait. spare hey i didn't spare any money on taking care of you guys you know what i mean like yeah i wore it today i'm not gonna lie so yeah ki on bod yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting you the team store Idaho State Bengals T-shirt that I got. <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy oh. stuff. That's crazy. <laughs> Stacy yeah, probably see, bought the shirt I got. But there yeah, it is. See, so to come full circle, we're all gassing this hoodie. Adam just wanted his moment, and Jared stole it. Yeah, essentially. Oh, man, has to steal my moment, man. Walked out. Yeah, that's crazy. Camera to be on me, and I saw Jared in the same hoodie. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, like that. That's just so Jared. That's so on brand. I love that. Yeah. Heritage eats, Adem. Heritage eats. No way you were looking up this whole time with the facts. <laughs> yes, I was. Oh, facts, facts. That was a spot. Yeah, that's Heritage eats. But he has been looking up that shit for like. Yes, I could not already. find it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was so mad. Heritage. He was halfway in this conversation. He was over there. Uh, yeah. Fry yeah, place I, I in had, Napa. Yeah. <laughs> I literally typed in French fry Best place fries restaurant in Napa, Napa, California. <laughs> no. Hey, but Adem, don't. Hey, tell them the truth, bro, man. That place is fire. You show me that place, and we went to that place multiple times. That place is actually fire. I actually forgot about that place. Like, I yeah, going there like with, with my teammates, like practice, like, bro, season season waffle fries with jerk chicken and like some, like spicy barbecue sauce with some avocado Crazy. too you can sweet avocado potato, sweet potato fries jared and, his bar- jared and his barbecue sauce yeah we always find yeah <laughs> what would you say luke i said we always find a way back to the barbecue sauce we yeah, always, always we there. always find a way back to the barbecue sauce jared j jared, jared jay and i were at dave's hot chicken Oh and- God! <laughs> Why you gotta tell the story, bro? <laughs> you guys are gonna make me look like a crazy person. On this Dave's hot chicken. He oh, orders his stuff. He, or- he orders his stuff, and he goes, "Can I get some barbecue sauce?" And they're like, "Uh, no, we don't have any." And he goes, "What?" <laughs> and I just immediately, immediately, I went to. I don't know if we told it on on the pod, but I Go immediately ahead. went to. The- I immediately went to the Canes, <laughs> to the Canes barbecue sauce story, and I'm just sitting there like, "Don't lose control, Jared. Don't lose control, Jared." <laughs> I've had some uh, very weak moments in uh, drive-through <laughs> restaurants. I think I think that's another story for another time. Yeah, we might have to get James. We might have to get James back on the episode for that one. We might have to have an explicit uh, episode. That was that was a funny moment. But uh, just know, sorry. hey, I will say it right now, Canes. This is if you're listening, get some freaking better sauces, dude. <laughs> Spencer Rattler or something. Like, come on, yeah, uh, well, I know Keynes is a frequent listener, so I'm glad that's going to get to them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm glad. Hey, last week we had Alexa. Now we got a Dems computer talking to us. Oh, that was um, last week. All right, man. So we talked college. It's getting close to that time. There's been a lot of heated discussion on this pod about NBA basketball. Adem, I want to know straight up, is are the Bucks winning again? And is Giannis the MVP? Let's hear it. Come on, man. You know you're not going to ask me that kind of question. You, you, I'm a Bucks fan, so I'm going to be biased. You already know. 
we Bucks gonna run it back and Giannis gonna be the MVP. Like I I know Jokic is up there, but like come on, man. Like you you, you can be the MVP when you like, bro. Yeah, bro. It's easy, bro. Giannis is gonna come on. But damn, you watched that game last night. What game you talking about? <laughs> the Warriors Bucks. Oh no, nah, I didn't watch it. I was flying back from Vegas. I was in Vegas. That's right. Oh, that's right. I, I can tell you that Steph Curry gave him thirty six in a dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Talk, talk, Tommy. Talk that talk. I just had. That's all right. I had to. I had to. Oh, you. Giannis you, didn't play though. Giannis didn't play though. So. Yeah, yeah you. Tommy's Warriors died hard. Yeah, you Tommy's died hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all, all they do is talk. They did that same shit last year. So. Yeah, and they won last year. And <laughs> they put the ring on the finger. <laughs> now, now it's it's all good. We. No, don't worry about us. We're gonna bounce back, bro. I, I, I trust, I trust, I, I trust my team, bro. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to see the Bucks. The Bucks are scary. No, I, I, I don't. To be honest, though, being fully honest, I don't think we're really good this year. <laughs> oh, the doubt. This sounds like a Kings conversation, bro. I'm a, I'm, bro. I'm a Bucks you know, fan. Shooting for the plan. We're shooting for the plan, bro. I'm a Shut Bucks fan, up, bro. Bias. But we're not good. We're not really that good this year, but we're going. I win. mean, Chris is just not fully there and fully healthy. I think Chris yeah. fully healthy. Even last year, I think if Chris didn't get hurt, like I really think you you guys probably would have won. Yeah. Do they yeah. do they beat the Celtics if they see him in the playoffs again? Hey, that's I, a tough one. That's a tough one. The, the Celtics they they're really good, and if like Rob Williams is like being healthy, it's gonna be tough to beat them, but. I must have taken the Bucks though. Bucks sure. Kings in the finals. What's who's winning? What's the outcome? <laughs> oh, what? Bro, bro, what? Adam, Adam, bro, Adam, what? I gotta we I gotta tell you yes. I gotta tell you what I tell everybody. Yes, we don't Adam. watch Kings basketball. We don't need we don't need Yanis for that game. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we good. That's cool, bro. That's, cool. That's real cool. That's Adam real cool. said Sacramento Kings are sweet. That is the number one offense in the league. Talk about it. That's that's all fancy yeah. to the playoff stats. <laughs> okay, I mean, cool, 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 cool. Oh, no, last yeah. week, last week they told me I was crazy when I said the Kings are going to be the number two seed in the West. And where are we right now? Where are we right okay. now? Well, I we, <laughs> it was very well within reach. I'm just saying, hey, they man. told me it was crazy, and within two days they made it happen. Two days. Hey dog. <clears throat> I'm impressed. I told you. I, I, we marked the date. We marked the date when I said I was impressed. Oh, wait. I need to find the clip on the podcast, too, when it was something about the number 40, and you were like, yeah, okay, the Kings aren't even going to get 40 wins. Guess what win last night was? 40? Zero. Oh, uh, that's nice. The beam has been lit 40 nice, times. Nice, man. Hey, last – I think uh, – correct me if I'm wrong. Last time Mike Brown won 60 games, they lost in the first round or second round. Bro, but this is what I'm saying, bro. No, no, no. I don't even want to hear this right now. We're, we're taking away from the game. What I'm saying, this is this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. This is the this is the the narrative that like it's it's never good enough. You told me you told me you wanted to see the Kings make the play in, and we are in the two seed right now. Hey, hey, Adam, who is winning in a playoff series? The Golden State Warriors or the Sacramento Kings? Ooh, well, I'm just gonna. I like that's a question, but ooh, but the Warriors. Is- <laughs> I'm not. I wouldn't expect him to say anything. Yeah, other yeah. Than the hey, it's not that funny. Know. It's not that funny. Hey, there's no reason. For hey, hey, hey. I will say this is a dim. I know we're, we're really needling him right now because of last week, but Luke has been a very true, like very straight and narrow, honest Kings fan for a very oh, long time. We're like. He has been the most realistic with his expectations, and he just got a little excited because they're like in the driver's seat for two seasons. How mad he is! I, 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 I was no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Week. I'm not saying that in, in a negative way. I'm saying that like rightfully so. You should be excited. That's. I've told you that I hope that they win a playoff series. I just hope that would be good. That's crazy. You only said the playoff series. It isn't like the whole team, bro. Well, he we asked him last week if they were going to make it to the Western Conference Finals, and he had questions. So, uh, like you said, realistic. Like, we, yeah, we, I think no. that we have what it takes to do it. Yes, but I do know that playoff basketball is different. So, I think it's going to be interesting yeah. to see the way it plays out. Hey, just know, like they they're going to make it. You're going to get to go to a playoff game in sack. That's going to be dope. Come on, man. <laughs> That's going to be dope. No, wait, no, wait. Luke, you've been waiting. I don't want to hear it from yeah. you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> He's so whoa, sick whoa. with Tommy. What <laughs> I do? 
Tommy was born into this warrior's mentality. <laughs> insert bro. insert mind, insert like, Tommy's yeah. condescending comment. Yeah. yeah oh my gosh. Yeah, he's my boy. Hey, his, shout. Hey, I know him, you're dude. gonna listen to this, Tyler Smith, man. Shout out, bro. We that is my we dog, appreciate bro. you. Yeah. No, hey, hey, you. hey he wanted. Hey, you. I told him. I hey, I sent him your phone number because he was so juiced to talk to another Kings fan. I was like, he's like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm like, I'm like, bro, just hit him. You know how excited he'll be that someone else can talk to him about how good the Kings are. Kings basketball. He means more to me than he even knows. <laughs> Shout out, Tyler, man. Hey, hey, new dad too. New dad, Tyler. You're, you're killing it. Brad, you and Steph, Brad, yeah. Oh, this guy Tom is sick. Um, <laughs> he's got his own merch on, bro. All bets are yeah. off. No, you're right. I, yeah, talk about TV two. This TV guy, two. you know, he didn't even know Tommy Ball merch. two. It's yeah, it's real tough. I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta that's that. how you know it's tough when you didn't even know your own merch was out in 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 stores. That's what I'm saying. That's high level. That's a high level. Just want to give a shout out to the Portland thrift store. <laughs> I don't even know what name it was. It was just a thrift store. Didn't have a name. It was like a pop up shop. Yeah, mm. it was like that. I'll shout out AJ Bergen, my teammate, for directing us in that. In that. Yeah, way. shout said, out AJ. He said, "Let's go check that out." I said, "Okay." I said, "I said," and Malik was right next to me. I said, "Malik, am I tripping?" And this says TB two, and he goes, "Yeah, you got to buy that." I'm like, "Yep." Yeah. Did you watch it? And thrift and thrift stop. It was probably easy on the pockets too. That's that's the kind of merch yeah, we talk yeah. about. It was, it was real smooth. Yeah. It was real smooth. Yeah. Good verse talk. All right, man. Is it, uh, is it that time? Is it, sir? Yeah. yeah Ooh, it is that time. It's that Rapid time. All yeah. right. So, so we talked, about, we talked about Adem, you know, being from Turkey, playing in Turkey. So, we're going to do starting five European NBA players uh, all time. Mm. Uh, and I'm excited for this one. I really am. Uh, Adem, we usually kick it to the, to the guest to go first. Now, you can decline if you'd like, but if you're ready to go, um, I know Jared has told you how serious we take this segment. So, I mean, yeah. if you want to take the floor right now, it's all you. But, hey, just know the, the, the bar is going to be set high. Oh, I got it. I can go okay. first. Hey, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Um, I, I can oh, I can say Tony Parker um, as a PG. I would take okay. Parker as a PG. Because I think he has like the most ring of uh, like any European ever has, and bro played like most careers like nice as hell. So um, I would take Tony Parker the PG, uh, maybe Luca the two, Luca the two, uh, I, I gotta go my boy Yanis at the three. Okay, put Yanis up there. The oh, Doc gotta make the team for sure. Who Doc got the four? And uh, who gotta be the big? Yo, Steve Nash, Steve Nash don't count because he's Canadian, right? So that, that's <laughs> you gonna put Steve Nash at the center? No, no, no. I was gonna, I was gonna push him back up and like bring them guys down. You feel yeah, me? no, bro. Hey, I, I know you haven't been on this continent for very long, but yes, Canada is a North American continent. <laughs> I, 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 I don't care. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I would, I would go, I would go with that. So I would go with, um, I would go with, Mark or Pow. Pow. Uh, I would go with that. So. Uh, at, at the five, yeah, the five. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that was the. Pick. Oh, that guy, that guy got, got paid to walk on to. Not yet, not yet. No, no, we'll do that back around. All uh, right, so let's. Yeah, so you got some time to think about that. Mm. All right, uh, uh, Tom, Jared, or, or, or me, you guys choose. Who, who's up? I'm pr- probably, I'm probably not ready. So, I can go. Just know mine's stellar, so uh, you probably don't want to go after that. Right? Yeah, yours is probably going to be mostly Kings players. It's okay. It's just like I said, it's going to be stellar. Do you want me to air it out? Do you want me to air, it, do you want me to air it out or no? No, just go. Okay, if you're going to – let me go then. Like, don't be – like, I don't get that. I'd rather try to <laughs> – Yo, yo these dudes than... – hey, damn, look at these dudes. These All right, <laughs> so I'm my point guard. I'm my point guard. I'm my point guard. I'm my point guard. I really like it. I really like Adam's point guard pick. That's a great one. I'm going to go with Goran Dragic. Yeah, go on, Dragic at my point guard. Lefty, smooth, bucket. At my two, I've got absolute burner clip. Great 2K card back in, like, 2K16. Hey, Tommy, two. speaking of that mic, man, we can't hey, hear you. Can you a little closer to your mic, bro? Say with your chest, Warriors fan. Am I, am I, am I, was I being quiet? Yeah, it was, like, in the background. 
Your your uh, mic was like twenty feet away. New computer. That's on me. Oh, okay. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Did you hear the did you hear the point guard? Yeah, yeah. Good pick. Good pick. Okay. At the two, burner clip. My guy Drazen Petrovich at the two. Bro, I literally first off, if you're gonna pick him, like this is why I needed to go first. It's Drazen. Okay. Okay. That's why I, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> He's not even a Kings player, bro. What? That's that's yeah, that's, that's that's that's, that's you go sliding. Oh, right yeah, you did. Yeah, come on, Tom. You gotta know that, buddy. That's do the itch. If there's an itch at I'm the end sure of the name, if that's Drag, how the name ends, is it Dragic as well? I don't think it's Dragic. I'm pretty sure it's Dragic, but you know, yeah, if ahead. there's an itch at the end of the name, real, realistically, they're probably related to Luke's blood in some Somewhere. way. Yeah, All right, bro. Like, can Luke can Luke get out his feelings, and I can just give my, my feelings. Fibers. Would you want me to mispronounce your name on a podcast? No, I wouldn't. Right. Yeah, you don't like when awesome. Tommy sounds like James, so. Oh. All right, man. You know, you, your guys' attitude is unbelievable right now. Adem, Adem's the only one being cool in here right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's draws. At the three, I'm going with Giannis. At the three, I'm going with Giannis. Luke, stop talking. At the four, I'm going with Pau. Pau Gasol. And at the five, I'm going to go Joel Embiid at the five. Mm. Embiid is African, though. Hello. Yeah, uh, I thought we were. I thought. Uh, you got me wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Well, then I'll, I'll audible to to Jokic. Oh, solid. That's what I mean. I thought we were just going out of the states. No, we're European. It's okay though. It's all right. Um. So again, really proud of my starting five here. So at the one, Tommy took him. I'm very disappointed that he took him because of a 2K card. I'm going with Drazen Petrovic. Uh, man, special player. Uh, at the two, give me Hito Turkoglu. Um, that's a that's a Turkey legend right there. That's a Turkey yeah. legend right there. Hito wow. Turkoglu at the two again, Kings player. We knew it. At the three, top five shooter of all time, Peja Stoyakovich. Um, I think you guys mm. knew this one was coming. Uh, I had to have him in my starting five for surely. Uh, this is where I have Giannis at the four. I think this is where we're gonna slot him in. Not at the three, we're gonna put him at the four. And at the five, you guys are going to love this pick. I need Arvidas Sabonis because uh, not only bro, because he was a great so player, sick. but because without him, we would not be lighting this beam today because of DeMontis Sabonis. So give me Arvidas at the five. I'm just real sick on these. This is what happens when I go last. I think I just – what you had Arvidas as well? Yeah, of course, man. That guy was so freaking good, man. Yeah, man, so was DeMontis Sabonis. You can take the Montes if you want. I'll give you the blessing. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm looking at my list because I'm going to have some audibles here. What else did you have? <clears throat> I, had, I, had, I had Drazen. Good uh, picks, fellas. I'm glad that, yeah. that Drazen's getting the love he deserves. All right, I'm ready, though. All right, we good? Yeah. All right. So, at the PG, give me Luca, man. I mean mm-hmm. – very short time in the league, did his work in the Euro Leagues. That's other things like how many other of these guys on this list that you guys are naming were 18 year old MVPs in the Euro League? None. So give me Luca. Now, my team is going to be insane because at the shooting guard, I have Dirk. Yeah. So we got Dirk coming off pin downs, launching like seven foot two guard, like. I'm talking about early Dirk too, with Steve Nash Dirk, Michael Finley Dirk, like Short really hair. getting in his bag. Short hair Dirk, yeah, throwing it up just like this. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. At the small forward, shout shout out to the bro, but Giannis, Giannis is the small forward. Now, I'm really glad this one didn't get picked because this was just like I was on the on the positive side of maybe the worst part of this guy's career. But overall, he was a great player, never won anything. But he, like, really set the stage for, like, the big, strong, athletic guarding wings. So, give me Andre Karolinko. Hell no, at the, at the, at the, the power for four. Yeah. That was my walk-on, man. Hey, 47? Mm. Yeah. The, that's because Tom remembers this. I had, the, I had the shirt that had this as the picture when Baron Davis you also had his hair cut. NBA career. You also used to have his haircut. I did? Oh, that was a joke. Oh, got it. 
<laughs> um, and then at the five, I mean, it's hard not to pick him. He just got his jersey retired next to Cobes. Um, give, give me Paul Gasol, man. Like, if there's nothing else, like, he really solidified Cobes' career. So, big shout out to uh, to Pal. And he was a great player in his own right, but kept those Spanish teams really competitive through all the Olympics. So, yeah, give me uh, Pal at the five. Oh, yeah, it's me for the walk on. Yes, I'm hyped, so no one can take this one. Yeah, I love mine as well. Uh, Skies, Pacific Northwest legend. Played for a franchise that should exist still. Great, great, great player. Still see him all around. His name is Detlef Shrimp. That's a that is day. my walk on. That's a that is day. my walk on. That's my That's guy. Really Detlef. He shows up at UW all the time. He's a super cool dude. Damn, shout out. That's a good pick. I like that. Yeah. So we we uh, knew we knew where I was gonna go with this. Uh it's gotta be a Kings player. It's gotta be a Kings player. And during the dog days of the Kings that you know we've made it out of. Um during the dog days of the Kings, um, uh, you know, we never really had a star, but you always fell in love with a certain player all these random years. And one of those guys was Bano Udrick. Give me Bano wow. with the Drano wow. as my walk on pick. This guy, I mean, he pick. used to electrify the 916. We all love Bano. So give me Bano. Yeah, Udrick. he's a legend. Yeah. No love to Omri Caspi. You know, see, see, there were a few. There was him. Francisco Garcia was uh in the in the yeah. mix as well. Um, Francisco so, Garcia is Puerto Rican. He's, yeah, Puerto Rican. he's not okay, European. So whatever. I thought yeah. he was, I thought maybe Spain, but so that's far. crazy. Sorry, I, I thought, made the mistake too. I didn't pick him. I picked man, him we really, you guys, the geography classes must not matter anymore. Well, I didn't, I, well I, one can I, argue. One can argue though. Joel Embiid is going to play for the French national yeah. team. That's all a lie, though. That's like saying that Serge Ibaka is Spanish. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's kind of the same. Yo, Serge Ibaka is not Spanish. <laughs> you guys called me on it, so I switched. But MB and B is gonna play for France. So that doesn't mean he's French. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, my walk-on pick. I'm going with seven-foot monster burner clip, Andrea Bargnani. Toronto wow, Anthony. I love that pick. Love that pick. Benetton Treviso. What a player. Um, I think I was going to pick um, Dai Tukola. I just want to represent Turkish team one time, but he kind of he kind of stole my style already. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go with the other Turkish player in my head, Asani Yalsova. That's my walk on. Mm, okay. that's, yeah, that's... Mm, some of the guys with the buck, so... Keep it in my head. Ilya Sova, yeah, that's charge king. Yeah, that dude. He was slow as hell, boy. He gets buckets. Yeah, he gets buckets for sure. He's been getting buckets a while too. Yeah, no, he's nice. That was a good pick. I like that. He was in the league forever. Hey Jared, have you ever uh, have you ever seen a Dem swing a golf club? I don't know. I know they got some. Golf I have not seen a Dem swing a golf club. This bro went to hey, he went to Top Golf last week. <laughs> yeah, I thought you saw yeah. the you see the you see the peaks. Oh no, I saw that, but no person. I'm glad that would have been painful to watch that person. No, I saw it. I saw the peaks. Can't be any worse than my swing. Hey, nah, you'll be surprised. Oh, what's that <laughs> just me? You were surprised. Yeah, he's like, hold on one second. I was I was smacking fake dots, fake like fake dust was like flying, fake grasses were flying off. I was trying to hit the ball. You know, he was hitting off the mat. (laughs) It was fake masses flying off. No, that shit was crazy. We're working working with a real golfer here. Yeah, bro looked like one of the uh me one of the one of the TikTok meme dates. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Uh, well, so then I you haven't we haven't gone to the golf course yet. We haven't gone to the range yet. But, you know, we got a lot of work to do. Um, but you know, if you want to play on that European tour, first class Turkish Airlines flight, got to get your fifty chips a night. That's gonna get my Euro swag right. Hey, that was awful. 
I mean, I, like, look, man. Oh, Jay, you I, lost I, me on that one. Hold yeah, on. no, that's that was a. <laughs> I commend you. I commend you. Yeah, really, I was really I, trying to work the the European. Hey, I think and Jay Turkey. Is awful, but Jared never never lacks effort. So like, yeah, it's always <laughs> a in my head. Hey. It's it's hard to be this good all the time, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I will say that was like, better than last week's. Yeah, I will wait, say that last was week's. Than last week. Oh, last week's was a little. Yeah, last week's a little wild. I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to put. I don't want to put State on blast. I know State will be tapped in. She gave me a call and she said, "Hey, Jared, Jared's poem at the end was not it this week." <laughs> yeah, that's all right. People are tapping in. Yeah, I will yeah. say though, Jared, it's because you told on yourself. You you set the bar so high that now that's what we expect. You know. Like, yeah, I know. I know. I got I got Yeah. You have. know, like Steph lost too. You know. I mean, what, what are you gonna do? Actually. Yeah. Uh, well, man, good for you. Wait, 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 still step up though. Yeah, you know me. Good job, Jared. Well done, Jared. Oh man, that was funny. Hey, yeah. Uh, I'm just glad that I avoided all the emotional uh, outbursts over here from Luke. Tom, Tommy was really pushing the buttons today. I was the recipient tonight. There's going to be a narrative yeah. on this show. If there's going to be an error on the show, I'm here. I've never – Jared's been at me more than Tommy has for this Kings thing for the yeah. majority of my life, literally. So, like – Here's the thing, know. though. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> what, what a damn – what Dan about to say something, what, bro? I, I would just say Jay was instigating the whole time. He was just pushing <laughs> – That's what he look. does, bro. That's what he does. He's just instigating the whole, the whole combo the whole time. Hey. Hey, man. That's what I do to get the best out of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have to help you get bring the best out of yourself on and off the court. Knowledge. Have you guys seen Creed 3? Oh, I'm going to see, you guys see that. It's good no, movie, I haven't man. seen it. It's good. I was great it. movie. That, that show was fire. You, you saw it too, then? Yeah, that shit got uh, me coming out of the cinema throwing like shuttle bus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, shit, nah, nah, that, that, that was, was fire. so fire. Yeah, and I'm going to. The that's what I actually I've too. peeped the soundtrack so, but uh, yeah, I'm going tomorrow so yeah and whenever like, whenever it hits tomorrow let me know. Oh my gosh, yeah, whenever it hits HBO Max, you know us stay at home dads will let you know how it is. Bro, I might also, throw on, I might throw on Creed two after this. I, I this is such a, well well Tom this is what I was about to say it's this is so random but so like we always fly Southwest or we flew Southwest. On yeah. their little like movie docker, both the creeds are always on there. Like they've never been off. So I'm flying, so I'm flying out west on Wednesday. So the, hey, the, you can watch both creeds. One on the way there. Tom, one where are you going? There. I don't think that flight is going to be uh, that long. But yeah, no. Tom, where are you uh, going? You know, I'm heading out. I'm heading out to AZ. Mm. Yep. See my mom's. Yeah. Shout out, Stacy. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give her a call yeah, after this. She's I'm dogging also, my. I also may or may not see Luke while I'm out there as well. Uh, oh, good links might be happening. Good oh, links. Oh man. Yo, in person pod my, I might have to stroll my way over to Scottsdale. And, and hey, these are be. some wild individuals, Adam. I'm just yeah, telling right. you. These are some wild gym. individuals. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be in the Nick oh, Main's gym. Nick Main's gym? Yeah, Nick Main's sanctuary out there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Uh, yeah. Nick, shout out Nick, man. It's my dog. Right. Spring break. Yeah. Spring break. Heading to Arizona and then we're gonna go me me and Stacey are gonna go to Southern California too. Mm. Big trip big trips ahead for, for the ball family. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Like yeah. that. Might have to come out. Yeah. Come on. All right, kids. Well, you guys travel safe. Hey, thanks, man. We'll yeah. do that. Make sure you take the extra comfy neck pillow. No, I'm not a neck pillow. Yeah, guy. I got one over there somewhere. You're you're not a neck pillow guy, huh? No. Like I said, uh -huh. Sacramento's gritty. <laughs> yeah, hear that a dim. I, 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 I used a neck pillow when we went to Panama, and then I just like I really didn't like it. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like yeah, I'm not one. a big neck pillow guy. Yeah. I can't sleep in planes. So are you a neck are you a neck pillow guy, Adam? Nah, nah, I'm straight up my cow. Just getting the plane, I'm dozing off right away. I've never <laughs> yeah. no one time I didn't sleep. I, I don't think so. Like every time what? I play it, I'm looking out right away. That's a good. Oh, how, can, how can you do that's that? Yeah, skill. that that is like impressive. Actually, years to be able to sleep I, on I a don't, plane. I don't. I don't struggle to. I don't struggle to sleep on planes either. Man, I'm jealous. <laughs> man, man, I fly to China, freaking fourteen hours. Oh, well, I just throw in some music and I just put my head back and like I I wait and then I like I like I like to see how many songs I like to check how many songs. <laughs> how many songs like, yeah, you do that too. Yeah. yeah, I've done that. So I flew. I flew from Turkey from Istanbul to like SF. 
that was like 13 hours flights. I wore like I probably slept like, slept like 10 hours or 13 hours. Oh my flight. god. That's like nothing to do. Like you. Well, you it's easy. It's easy when you're in the first class late sleep down bed. That's probably, <laughs> we're not getting that part yet. Nah, See that he flew first class yet. Turkish Airlines. That's what I'm saying. I ain't got Hollywood yet, but I got I got a good seat. He said I would yet yet <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not there yet, but like you you just gonna wake up. You are gonna see the same face for 13 hours. Like well, you might as well just knock out. You feel me? I just yeah. the whole time. <laughs> Uh, I always do that though, because I, I wake up. I'm like, dang, how long was I asleep for? And then I'm just gonna see how many songs I went through. Like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, man. I don't know uh, where this conversation's going. Yeah. 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 No, Either way, Adem, we appreciate you, man. Uh, yep. Thanks for coming on. Uh, good luck this yeah. week. Big, big time week for you guys. Let's get it done. It's like get these two wins and go on one, and uh, then uh, take it to Vegas. Appreciate you. Man. Thanks for having me on the um on the podcast, man. Appreciate you a lot. Yeah, man. man. It's love. Yeah, great episode. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Jared kind of wrapped up the outro for us. So these are your favorite walk-ons and we're walking out. <laughs>